Hey guys, welcome back to the Project Daily channel. I just thought I'd make a video here removing the 07 through 09 Versa electric power steering. We're here at the pick and pull in Oakland. And uh, I just thought I'd film this video last minute. So, so far I've only pulled out these panels up front. I just yanked them out. I didn't even screw anything. Four 10 millimeter bolts to pull off this cover this plate here. And as you can see, there's our unit. We'll have to figure out where to disconnect it down there. And then it should slide out of the main column here. So that's something we'll have to figure out. This part should slide out. Um, and then we need to unbolt it up here. I see a bolt here. And I'm not sure, this might be one on that side. Um, and then we need to figure out how to get back here and disconnect it down there. Let me see if I can just yank it. No, I need to, I need to take this little, these clips off. All right, let me get that done and then uh, I'll keep you guys updated. So you see that 12 there? And there's one on this side holding the steering column up. We gotta take those off. All right, now I've got everything unbolted, but it's still kind of not wanting to wiggle out. I think we need to undo the universal joint down here, which is another 12 millimeter. Looks like all I had to do to free this up was twist the steering column and it popped out. I'm gonna go ahead and undo it, the universal joint there. See, that makes it a little easier to get off. All right, guys, it helped a lot to jam a screwdriver in here, tap it in to split up this uh, U-joint so you can uh, take slide that off easier. Um, we're gonna get the steering wheel and components out so we don't have to pay for that. I'm guessing there's a, some sort of access screw right here because I tried prying it off. Um, so I broke the cover off the back here because I couldn't figure it out, but see this little clip here? You gotta go in through the hole like this. Find the tip of that clip and push. It pops right out in there. Another one. Oh. There's one at the bottom too. Oh, that's annoying. With all those clips removed, the airbag comes out. You can just disconnect it or rip it off because these aren't resellable anyway. All right, now there we go. We got a like a 19 millimeter nut. We got to take off. All right, so I just uh, unscrewed that one that one here and then there's a clip on the back to get it off of the that piece of uh, that bracket and I put the steering back on I might take it too just for the boss we'll see I'm gonna mess with it I'm um, taking the whole thing this part should slide out I haven't been able to get it to do it but I haven't tried too hard I just gotta get the module now <sighs> and it appears there's a single 12 millimeter nut holding the module in. We'll see if that's what it is. Oh, maybe we should take this whole plate. Yeah, I might take this whole plate because it kind of seems like the, it could work with the Z31. Oh, the module is held on by a couple screws. One, you see that one right there? There's one right there. All right, so I just had to get that one more nut on that side and the whole thing dropped. We're gonna make sure to cut the harness as high up as we can. We really only need the power and ground cable, I believe. And this bus we don't need because we'll, we'll just need the input from the, from the motor housing and then this just needs power. So I wasn't planning on get, grabbing a second unit, but I just walked by this one right now, so. I'm gonna take this one too. And the easy way to get this uh, lock cylinder out if you don't have um, like a drill or anything, 
one side's riveted and one side is held in by this tab. So all you gotta do is get in here with the screwdriver and work this bracket off. You just kinda have to bend it. Alright, move that lower panel to give me a little more access in here. But just work your way around the bracket. Like this. Take a magnesium. Alright, I'm moving my controller because the magnesium down there, but pretty soft. The top bracket is metal, just feel. You can see you almost got it all the way off. Just gonna get a good angle on here. And then we should be able to slide the column off. We gotta unplug it. Just came right off. In conclusion, it's really just one bolt to undo the the U joint from the rack and pinion, and four 12 millimeter. M10 nuts to get the whole column out basically after you get the panels out and then to get the steering wheel off Like I showed you It's really hard to even see in there and if you don't want to be fiddling with it All I did was score a line with the knife But actually it'll cut easily. Let me show you Kind of last time because it's such a pain That's just one hand I can't even hold it properly It cuts really easy Then you can just kind of snap it off once you get that, you can take off all the accessories and the steering wheel like I showed you. Just two screws here, a clip at the bottom. 19 millimeter nut for the steering wheel. You don't need a puller. And you're all set. And I think, we'll see, but I think it's a good idea to take the whole thing as one piece. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned. We're going to be putting that in the Z. Alright, take care.